This is a core memory module, the earliest form of computer memory built in the Soviet Union. The Union. It was made of hand-woven wires and tiny magnetic rings, each ring representing a zero or a one. It could store only 4,096 bits, but back in 1950, that was nothing short of a miracle. At that time, computers didn't store data electronically, they remembered it through human hands. Then came Texas Instruments, with the world's first semiconductor memory chip. It had just one kilobyte of capacity, and cost as much as a small car. People in the lab laughed. This thing? It'll never replace magnetic cores. But they were wrong. That tiny piece of silicon was pointing toward the future. A few years later, an IBM engineer named Robert Dennard was working late one night, when a simple idea struck him. If a capacitor can store charge, and a transistor can control current, then together, they could store one bit of data. That's how DRAM was born. One transistor, one capacitor, one bit. In 1970, Intel released the 1103 chip, and everything changed. Memory density skyrocketed and costs plummeted. The age of magnetic cores was over. The semiconductor era had begun. Since then, every stick of RAM in your PC and every flash chip in your phone can trace its roots back to that breakthrough night.